The point of clarification. Mr. Speaker, I wanted to request your indulgence that at uh, this order on papers, uh, since yesterday I was required to table some papers uh, regarding the debate yesterday, that I do it at this particular juncture. Uh, very well. If you recall, Honorable Senators, the Honorable Senator for Nairobi, Senator Sifuna, met certain uh, allegations and uh, through some points of order, he was requested to substantiate he was unable to substantiate immediately and therefore saw time to do so today. I will therefore allow the Honorable Senator to proceed to substantiate pursuant to Standing Order 105.2. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. During debate yesterday, I made certain assertions on the floor of the House and requested that you allow me time to table evidence to support the assertions that I made. There were three matters that I was uh, required to substantiate, Mr. Speaker. I am going to substantiate two of those and withdraw one. Mr. Speaker, the one I'm going to withdraw was on the question of whether the Wi-Fi at city markets are working. My idea of substantiation was to prepare sworn affidavits by traders at uh, those markets to demonstrate that, in fact, those Wi-Fi hotspots do not work. Because of the time that it's taking to produce those affidavits, I want to withdraw that remark, Mr. Speaker, so that in the event that I have the affidavits ready, I will be able to make that allegation or assertion again. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, I was required to substantiate uh, an assertion I made here that, uh, in fact, the uh, loan default ratio of the loans that have been disbursed under the Hustler Fund are higher than the loan default of commercial banks in Kenya. I have here with me, Mr. Speaker, an extract of the Central Bank of Kenya annual report and financial statements for 2022-2023. This report, Mr. Speaker, is available on the Central Bank statement uh, website, official website from where I got it. And also, Mr. Speaker, it is available, uh, just one minute, uh, on the regular monetary policy committee updates, which are available to members of this house. Mr. Speaker, I want to point specifically to page, uh, page 27 of that report. What is your point of order, Senator Boni? Mr. Speaker, it's about procedure. The Senator was proceeding very well. Having described the evidence he has, he's supposed to table, you will peruse through the clerks, you'll be satisfied, it meets the standard, and then he can then speak to it after you have made that clearance. That is the procedure, Mr. Speaker, sir. He's just supposed to table. Just without allow, him, allow him to just highlight uh, the contents. After that, he'll table. Uh, of course, uh, we'll, I'll have the opportunity to peruse through it and thereafter make a ruling as to whether that particular document indeed uh, substantiates the allegations made yesterday. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When you peruse, you, I want you to note uh, page 27, where the central bank has extracts of statement of comprehensive income for commercial banks. And I have highlighted for you the loan portfolio vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the non-performing loans and uh, the bad loans. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, you will see that the non-performing loans, as at the end of October 2022, or June 2023, stood at 14.5%. Mr. Speaker, as you are aware, uh, the non-performing loans for the Hustler Fund are at $3 billion, which is 30% of the outstanding, which is $10 billion. It's simple math, Mr. Speaker, I wish to table. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, there was an assertion here that we, in fact, as a country, received a donation of free fertilizer from the Republic of Russia. Mr. Speaker, I have here with me an extract of the official Russian embassy in Kenya, Twitter page, and on this one I want to thank Kenyans on Twitter for pointing me to this particular page. It is a verified page, Mr. Speaker, and electronic evidence for those who want to shout point of order is admissible in this country. Mr. Speaker, you will see a communication on the official handle of the Russian embassy in Kenya of a donation of 34,000 tons. Mr. Speaker, I have gone further to attach, and I wish we would be allowed to play videos the way we were playing videos during the Kawira Mwangaza impeachment, but I have photographic evidence. Senator, Senator Sifuna, is the fertilizer 
and question the same fertilizer in that tree. in fact indeed mr speaker that is my point this is the free fertilizer that we were told has now been subsidized and the point i was making is you can't subsidize something you got for free mr speaker i have attached photographs and news items of the uh, cabinet secretary responsible for agriculture receiving that consignment of free fertilizer mr speaker i wish to table well, I will, um, the clerk, get seeds of these uh, documents. We will look at the authenticity of those documents, and uh, we will, I'll make a ruling as to whether they can be used to substantiate your claim. Yes, uh, Senator. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I believe in your wisdom, but as you're perusing those documents, Mr. Speaker, it should be clear that that evidence that is being tabled there, if there was a donation, where is the evidence that that same consignment moved from where the Minister of Agriculture received it, it went to distribution areas, and it is the same, same fertilizer that has been given to the people of Kenya as subsidized fertilizer. Mr. Speaker, there is responsibility here. Let us stop politicking with things that deal with food and the lives of our people, Mr. Speaker. I thank you. Uh, I will peruse these documents. Senator Sifuna, 